New York because of the opening day for Lucy Fest and uh, uh, four days of celebration and tribute to a wonderful lady. <laughs> All the world loved Lucy, Lucille Ball. And for folks in Chautauqua County, her life and legacy mean even more. For it was there in Jamestown and the village of Selron that Lucy spent her childhood, where she first tried her hand at show business, which is why they put together Lucy Fest, a tribute to a great lady and a memorial to what she stood for. It's a chance to pay tribute to the queen of comedy and to showcase new talent. But what really makes Lucy Fest special, perhaps, is the attendance of her daughter, Lucy Arnaz. For her, coming here for the first time is a chance to see firsthand all those things her mother talked about, a chance to find her own roots. There's a feeling in this town. Somebody explained it for me because I really couldn't put, uh, put it into words that it's this sort of unconditional love you get when you go home. You know, that family thing where you can just be accepted and they don't always think you're fabulous, but you can come on, you know, come on in and they're there for you. And since both of my parents are gone virtually and their houses are gone, I, it doesn't exist, that going home again thing. My house is now the big house. Yeah. That's a scary thought, you know. And uh, these people are related to me. You know, some of them exactly. distant, distant, distantly, sure. but uh, they feel like family, and it's very spooky and good. I bet. What did your mom tell you about this place? Now, just over your right shoulder, there was an amusement park here, and I know she performed here probably. Well, this was shows. her favorite thing. But we're right where we are right now is what I heard her talk about all the time, the lake, going down to the lake. Chautauqua Lake was her favorite thing in the world, and she and Marion would, you know, get down and go down to the park and uh, go to every single movie that was in town and see all the vaudeville shows that came in, and... She talked about, well, the lie. I mean, here we are at lilac time, first of all, which is amazing because that's all she loved was the, the fall when the leaves changed and lilac time up in Chautauqua County. And um, it's perfect to be here at this time and see the dogwood in bloom, the lilacs, the peonies, and, you know. I know, I think it's the seasons. My mother was um, big for that and small town atmosphere always impressed her, that community spirit, you know. Mm -hmm. She had wanted to be here, had she? She knew about Lucy Oh, Fist. yeah. She had a whole wardrobe ready to go. Absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, on the plane, it suddenly occurred to me that I, I should have uh, had some of those things taken in and worn everything she was going to wear. <laughs> it would have been fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what she meant to wear on Tuesday. Yeah. You know, and, but she, oh, yeah, she had her clothes picked out, and um, it was a big disappointment to her that she couldn't make this trip. And it was like the second thing she said to me out of coming out of the anesthesia. First thing was... Wouldn't you know this is the day I was supposed to have my hair done? <laughs> Which is true, is exactly yeah. what she said. And then she said, well, I guess there goes the Jamestown trip. And I said, no, no, you know, you're going to be fine. You'll go. They'll postpone it a little while, and then you'll, you'll go. Lucille Ball's death, of course, changed all that. So it was daughter Lucy who received her mother's honorary degree from Jamestown Community College last weekend. And Lucy Arnaz will represent her mother when the Salron Village Park is renamed Lucille Ball Memorial Park during Lucy Fest. What was your relationship like with your mom? I would think it would be very hard to be the daughter of somebody that famous. And I read a quote you said, you know, I, I, I had to share her with the whole world. And it, it sounded like it kind of bothered you. Well, you know, it's tough being a daughter. No matter who your mother is, mother-daughter relationships are not always easy, as I'm sure I will find out when my daughter reaches... 15 or 16 and uh, we didn't see a lot of of her um, the way most kids see their mom you know I mean we saw a lot of her and yes we spent all our weekends together but there was always someone doing the mother things and uh, I think there's a bonding that doesn't ever really happen unless you're there to do the driving and to give the baths and you know there's some of the not so pleasant stuff that, that moms are, are forced to do and and yet, it's in doing that that your child relates to you as really being there for them. And I know my mother loved us immensely. And she did the best she could. She tried to have it all, and she practically did. I mean, she's one sure. of the people who accomplished it. Uh, I find that it doesn't work as well for me. I mean, I, I missed something in that relationship, and I can't quite put my finger on it. But I, it was somewhere in the really feeling like there was a bond. And I'm trying to not make that same mistake with my kids. I'm trying to to be there for the ordinary stuff. Mm.
Given that, I guess I shouldn't have been surprised when Lucy decided to go along for a visit to her mother's childhood home on what is now Lucy Lane. There were lilacs, her mother's favorite, in the yard. And for Lucy Arnaz, a growing desire to go inside. Hi, I'm Lucy Arnaz. Yes. I just wanted to meet you. This was uh -huh. Mom's house, and I know you must be so sick of people coming to your door, because it happens to us all the time at home. Uh, I know it. It's been, it was just, it's been just terrible. It well, really why don't, is. Why don't we find you a fabulous new place to live, and then we can leave this all behind and turn it into a museum? Well, no. I've lived here 63 years. Have you then... really? Mm -hmm. Oh, how fabulous. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. this, this weekend will be horrible, and after that I'll get back mm -hmm. to sort of normal. I hope. While the woman who lives in Lucille Ball's childhood home is understandably less excited than everybody else about Lucy Fest, there are many other folks who remember Lucille Ball from her early days here. Pauline Lopez was the kid next door at the time of Lucy's childhood and was not surprised by her astounding success. Well, because that was seemed to be her life. I mean, when we were eight or nine years old, why, uh, we, uh, during the summer vacations, we had a bunch of old clothes, uh, you know, put away in a drawer, and uh, we always acted out all the movies and everything we saw. You see, at that time, there were free movies down in Sourham Park, and a lot of them were westerns. And uh, also, her mother used to uh, collect Vain Gray books, and of course, we would go and see the uh, uh, picture, and then we'd read the book, and of course, we didn't like the picture, you know, after we saw that read the book. But uh, we always uh, played those different shows, and uh, we just, we were always dramatic. I mean, we just did things all the time. But she always remembered her friends in Jamestown, especially Marion Von Black. Theirs was a friendship that spanned nearly a lifetime. 62 years, right to a, day, a week before she got her last, you know, her heart attack. I got the last letter and a phone call. And uh, she was looking forward to coming. She was real excited. And, and I, I, they took a, I had an interview with her, uh, the last one that they ever took out there. And that was in that Erie County magazine. And uh, right at the tail end of the magazine, she said, I've got to get back to Jamestown and see my old friend, Marianne Strong Van Black. She always put the Strong because that was the maiden name, you know. And so people knew me by that name. She was always the first one to make up with anybody, you know. And very forgiving, forgiving. And loyal, especially to her family, that especially. Just, uh, that was, that was tops for her, was the, and she was, till the day she died, and she saw to it that everybody was taken care of, and she wanted to be needed, and she, she just wanted to be needed, and she was, <laughs> by lots of people. As for Lucy Fest, it will be an annual event in the city by the lake, a lake that Lucille Ball loved so much, and there are plans for a permanent Lucy Museum. Her hometown is doing it up big, and Lucy would have been very proud. It's my honor to welcome you to the opening of the Lucille Ball Festival of New Comedy. Although Lucille Ball died in 1989, her legacy lives on in the lives of others. And what better place to remember Lucy than her birthplace, Jamestown, New York? Lucille Ball's daughter, Lucy Arnaz, is honorary chairperson of the festival. I just want to say this. I've known Lucy for almost 12 years, and I've never seen her as moved in such a fashion as she has been by her reception here. Years ago, during Lucy's show, there was a scene in which she stomped on grapes. The scene was recreated at the festival. Lucy's daughter kicked it off with the pouring of the champagne. You see, like, the original time then when Lucy did it for the show? Uh-huh. We had to stay before this. <laughs> oh, it looked like she had a great time. <laughs> a little dangerous, though. We're very excited here in Jamestown, had the Lucy Fest here. It, it puts a bright spot in our lives here. It was at this theater here in Jamestown that Lucy got her inspiration to pursue a career in show business. Business. So appropriately enough, those who are inspired by her are performing all this week. The festival continues through to Memorial Day. It's guaranteed to include plenty of laughter.